2003 on a 53 Land Rover Discovery 2 TD5 automatic ES premium. So it's a top spec of this one on a 53 place in Epson Green. Body work wise, I'm going to start off the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, then we'll fire it into life. Nice and straight across the bonnet, no dings or dents at all on there. Lovely, lovely colour with the cream leather on the green exterior, this one. One or two right surface scratches where it's been washed over the years, and the odd little bird poo mark, but very, very presentable. No corrosion, no big dings and dents. So you come down the left hand side, put the corner, we've got a scuff on the corner itself, and we have got a crack on the insert plastic there. I know you can't change those bits, so there's a crack there. Headlights are moisture free, not full of moisture like normally on these TD5s. Nice and straight across the grill and the rest of the bumper. Right hand side corner is scuff free, headlights all good. Let's do with a little bit of a polish. Got the big knobbies all the way around. I think the general grab us all the way around there on the correct um, five spoke ES premium wheels. A late model on a 53 plate, lovely and tidy around that driver's front wing. And arch there, no alley rash or corrosion coming through. Nice and straight down the lower half with the tubular side steps on, all nice and tidy across the bottom of the door there. I've got a little, a slightly heavier scratch there, and another stone chip down there. But apart from that, 53 plate Land Rover seems to be all one shade of green, all nice and tidy. Up and across the roof, a few bits of latter peel across the front section of the roof, which is pretty standard. It's been absolutely lashed down here as well. The sunroof seem to be nice and dry. More importantly, no corrosion on the rear airframes. I've had these before. And they normally rot across here. Wind strips normally bubble up. That's not the case on this one at all. Really nice and straight down this right-hand side. A few light scratches around the uh, the lock there. But all nice and tidy on that right-hand side rear door. Wheels are all nice and straight. With a little bit of pain flake on the wheels themselves. Around the rear rock, all nice and tidy. Not hanging off anywhere. No scuffs, no scrapes. No corrosion down the lower half, which you normally get corrosion down there. That's not the case again. Lovely and tidy around the fuel filler cap. One or two light scratches there, but not bad at all. Lovely and straight down that whole right hand side. Really nice with a dark glass as well. Okay, one or two little bits of that up here across the roof. But it's that high up, you don't notice it. Back down the right hand side, light and rear section. No dings or dents. Slightly heavier scratch there, but no dings or dents down the section. But the corner's scuff free all the way across there. Onto the left hand side again, scuff free, lovely and tidy up the left hand side. Fifth matching spare wheel with a matching tyre, and lovely and straight across the tailgate where we normally get some corrosion in the corner. That's not the case at all on this one. Tow bar fitted there with the little be a seven pin, which it is. All nice and straight and tidy as you come down the left hand side. Clearly been well looked after. The vendor did say they haven't used it for a little while, but it seems to be all nice and level. Spring conversion all the way around as well. Loving straight on that left-hand side rear quarter. No dings, no dents. Nice and tidy as you come onto the left-hand side rear door. Loving straight down that quarter and door and around the arch. No scratches or scuffs at all on the arch. Another matching tube and a side step. A little bit of corrosion on the back of the actual metal insert, but the step itself all nice and solid. You can jump up and down on that as well. We'll have got a dense scratch at the bottom of the left-hand side front door, which you can clearly see there. Apart from that loving level down the left-hand side, as you hit the front wing, nice and tidy on the front wing. No alley rash at all on this one, that I can see, which is a rarity on these uh, Land Rovers. Bit of a scuff on the wing wear cap, but it's all crack free. And again, the window wear counts. A little bit starting, but nice and tidy. I've personally had them where they've got holes in them. Lovely and straight down the wind strips. Really nice looking car, this one. It is the ES Premium, so it is the top specker. Pretty and green as well. Right, onto the interior now. Um, he did say when he started up the other day, the three Amigos were on. So if you're looking at this Land Rover, you know what those are. I think it's the ABS, the traction, something else. So the thought called the three Amigos, they all come on together. Door card itself, a bit of wear on the door card there. A little bit of a rub through where someone's arm has been. The seat itself, although nice and tidy, nice and clean. A bit of a split in the sides, actually, again, fairly common. And more importantly, there's a standard on these Land Rovers, the wheel has got some wear to it. With them. When they did those leather wheels, they did wear quite badly. Dials are all nice and clear, all loving standard down the centre console, no complaints there, automatic gearbox, and more importantly, it's a sag-free headlining on this Land Rover. Sag-free headlining, nice and clean in there. Left, uh, right hand side rear door card again, nice and tidy. Seems to be nice and straight and tidy on the inner arch. Loving tidy across there, uh, five seats with the armrest. It's a seven seat model, this one, sorry. All nice and straight across the rear seats with a black carpet set into the boot like i say seven seat model this one with the factory subwoofer 
We'll put those down. James is going to put the seats down so we can have a look at them. Left hand side rear, nice and tidy on the door collar. Got a little nick there off the seat belt. And the rear seat's the left hand side, nice and tidy with a black piping. It's a proper, proper car, this one. Nice and level on the left hand side front door cart. And again, the front seat, passenger front seat in lovely condition. Heated fronts, electric as well on this one with the wood. Dashboard's all unmarked and crack free. Loving straight across there. James is popping the seats down for us. He got them, James. Green tag at the front. There we go. James is popping those down. Again, loving tidy. Want well, a bit of a clean, they haven't been down for a while. But nice and straight on the seats there, no rips or tears. You've got the headrest that fold down as well. And again, sag free headline. Let's like say it has been raining and there's no damp patches at all around that headline. And more importantly, no damp patches. So they don't seem to be leaking that, leaking that out until that's for sure. So loving straight in there. Proper, proper car, this one. It's the engine being now. It's the TD5, the five cylinder diesel. And I'm biased to these because I've had one of these for a long time. My arguably my favourite defender uh, engine and diesel engine in a in a Land Rover or a Defender. James is going to fire it into life for us. Firing straight into life without hesitation. Like I say, the three amigos are on there. He did say it pinged on the other day when he was in the car. And there you have it, the 2353 Land Rover Discovery TD5 seven seater Epson Green. ES Premium, top spec of that one.